Yo, 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 what's going on, T20? I hope you're all super well. I'm having a little bit of a tired morning this morning. It's, what, 8.35? I'm off to the gym, as per usual. Knee is not feeling amazing right now. I just took some Nurofen. I don't know, there's, it's just a weird pain. We're probably uh, about five, I think five weeks post-op. So it's been a while, man. Look, we just gotta be patient with it. Anyway, I gotta head off to the gym. I'll catch you guys there. Filled in my book so you guys can see one of the things that has really helped me hit some solid, solid numbers and just overall get through the workout and the exercises a bit easier is breathing. When you focus on like breathe in on the way down on the bench press and then breathe out on the way up, it helps massively. Uh, there's a guy watching golf called Bryson DeChambeau who is like one of the longest hitters and he went on to say like the breath when he goes to do one of the huge drives, he really increases his breathing and focuses on that because that allows him to uh, exhort a lot of power. So that's something I kind of took and went, okay, I can use that in the gym. And so I've started doing that and I, it's really, really helpful. So bench press, all these push exercises, it's breathe in on the way down and then breathe out on the way up. Some of them, I don't do it as well as I should, but bench press is where I really notice a difference. So give it a try. I'm sure there's YouTube t tutorials or you know, just articles that will help you a lot. So really focus on that breath if you want to increase some of your numbers. It's helped me massively, man. Absolutely massively. Gym session's done. Sammy's just heading off. We're a little bit tired today. It was a tough session, but hey, those are the days where you just got to push through, keep going, and that's exactly what we did. I hit, I was pretty stoked with my bench press. Managed to get 75 kilos, five sets of four, no, five sets of three. I can't remember, but I, I was happy with it, man. Anyway, and home now, egg and tuna time. Got to keep those calories in. Keep on my protein as well. That, I'm staying consistent, not only with the gym, man, but my food, I, I'm taking my creatine. I'm making sure I have all the protein I need. I'm, I'm just staying consistent, man, that's all it is. Uh, for anyone that drives or rides a scooter after the gym, you know that feeling where, oh my goodness, it's, I'm struggling like steer, and ah, my muscles are just so sore. Just go so push myself hard. Now, I need to do one thing straight up when I get inside. Hello? Motivation was low this morning, but yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this book. A couple of people asking where I got it from. Literally just uh, eBay, Amazon. Uh, it's a great way to log it. So yeah, just pick one up. I mean, I think it's like 15 bucks. So I need to write down my exercises in there. Oh, and I need to have food now. Oh, I'm just dying struggling they feel like jelly right this next part of the video i want it to be a sit down i want it to be a very very open discussion leave your comments down below what you think because look to be honest i, I don't know i'm just kind of putting out some thoughts and obviously the, it's in the title of the video what position i'm thinking of maybe i'll play once i get back to football for all of you guys who have watched me for i mean when i first started um and even even watching me train I have, I would say, somewhat of a decent left foot. So I can use both my left and right foot pretty decently. In fact, right before I did my Liz Frank injury, which was so unfortunate, and I was out for eight months, had to have a screw in, I, there was a point there where I was more confident using my left foot than my right foot. And then I had the injury and it doesn't quite feel the same, but I can definitely get it back to where it needs to be. So I was thinking, look, okay, Sheldon, we want to be a pro footballer. What's the best way? Like, how are we going to do this? And I was thinking, and I went, look, being an attacking midfielder, being a winger, is a very, very, very competitive, high demanding, and quite somewhat opinionated, I would say. But it is one of the toughest positions. There's also a huge amount of number 10s, a massive amount. And I would say, many players who are better than me, 100%. So I have to look at it and go, okay, if I wanna be a professional footballer, what's the best way? And I think we all need to kind of sit down and analyze this. And I was thinking, what if I were to play left back? It wouldn't be the worst idea. Now I'm not saying this video and saying, all right, I'm gonna go play left back and see how it goes. Obviously, it's a new position, so there'd have to be a lot of studying the game and analyzing. But the reason I think I'd be a decent left back is one, I'm fast, I'm quick. So any quick winger, I'm there, I'm with him. Number two, I'm building this strong physique now. So I'm going to be able to compete in the back and 
uh, you know, not get muscled off the ball as easily as I would have. So that's number two. Number three, I have a left foot. And having a fullback, like, we have to look at football, right? There's more, a whole lot more right footers than left footers. That's just facts. So having a fullback on the left hand side that can use both their left and right foot is pretty good. So as a coach, if I was looking and going, okay, we have this fullback who can use both his left and right foot, he can play left or right back. And if he plays left back, he can whip in a cross or he can cut in and cross it or have a shot. And so that keeps the defenders on their toes, on edge. And that's another advantage to that position as well. The other thing that I would really want to do is be kind of like one of the fittest attacking fullbacks there is and really just bomb on, get back, get up there, get back. And obviously that's a whole lot of fitness work, but that's something I'm looking at. I'm going, how can I create this advantage for myself to try and become a pro footballer? Because we've tried number 10, we've tried winger. And I believe, look, I'm not gonna sit here and say, I'm not gonna play those positions again. Maybe it is the right decision to continue to play attacking midfielder and winger. Cause I know I can do very well in those positions. I know I score goals. I can set up goals. I can read the game very well in those positions. It's just, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe, maybe that may be best. I'm not sure. I'd love to hear from you guys because you don't really, you know, you're not me, so you don't have as much of like, I don't know, it's not like your thoughts aren't what mine are. So it's different thoughts and I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you think a different position, not center back, but you know, I think for me it's between like, for the positions I could really like play well, it's between fullback, attacking mid and winger striker i'm just not big enough really especially at the competitive professional level i would have to be a little bit taller and yeah there are strikers who are a bit smaller but those the skill level i mean these we're talking siri r players i'm not a siri r insigne yet but yeah those I, that's just where i feel i would perform best and i don't know i'm gonna have to have a think about it and see look we just got to work on the name, focus on now, but it's given me time to think about this and focus on, okay, how can I get to this professional level instead of just going, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. So I'm going to end the video there, a little bit of a shorter one, but let me know down in the comments. It's a very open discussion. I'm not here to, if someone tells me, uh, play attacking midfielder, you're good there, that's great. I'm just interested to hear what you guys think because I'm, I'm like, 50-50 on both sides here. I'd probably be leaning towards, actually, no, I'm not I'm not leaning towards either side because I like, I love playing attacking midfielder and winger, but at the same time, I think I could be a very good fullback. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just not sure. Look, we got to focus on right now and what I can control and what I can do. And to play any position, I really got to fix up my upper body. We haven't done that. We tried so many times and failed and that's on me and now is the time i've been smashing the gym man absolutely killing it in there the numbers are getting up the weight's getting up the strength the physique the look of it i'm really happy with how it's going so we just gotta keep pushing but yeah that's gonna be that again let me know in the comments and i'll catch you guys on monday try i'll try not let you down with another video actually i'm viewing a couple of places that i'm looking to rent over the weekend so we'll see how that goes and it is easter so maybe not monday maybe wednesday i don't know yet but thanks i'll sign out